Good morning, Celtics. Please stand for the playing of our national anthem. the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, teach us what it means to have faith in silence. When we face trials that are beyond our understanding, help us to find peace. Help us to be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. You set all things in accordance to your time. Remind us to wait patiently and find peace in your plan. Mary, Mother of Jesus, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good morning, or good afternoon, Celtics. Welcome back to another edition of your Quarantine News. I'm Daniel Reyes. And I'm Luke Zinyak. It's been amazing seeing all the support on the last two episodes. We hope they're reaching everyone safe and that you are all staying healthy. Before we get into our announcements, we wanted to take a moment to clarify an error from last week's broadcast. Midterm report cards will not be going out to students. But all students should receive midterm marks. If you're in grade 12, these marks will have been uploaded to your OUAC slash OCAS portals for post-secondary applications. As uh, many um, of you already know, our break from school has been extended yet again. Um, the government has ordered all schools to stay closed until at least May 31st. Remember that your actions are crucial right now. Celtics, please make sure you and the people around you are making smart choices and social distancing. Hello Celtics. Some, if not all of you, have probably had a little trouble with your homework. Whether this was with a math question, or French, or whatever, you have likely struggled with something, even if it was just one of those small questions. To help with this, my friends and I have made a homework help server using Discord. This server can connect people from each grade together and help each other with questions. Additionally, students, such as yourself, can request tutoring sessions for up to an hour with a tutor about a specific subject. You can chat with them on online using voice chats and share your screen so we can directly work through problems with you. It can be any subject, math, science, French, music, whatever it is. To make such a program possible, we are using an online platform called Discord, which supports text, voice, and video communication. The whole school could join if they wanted to. Attached in the description is a link to the Discord server. When you click it, you will likely be prompted to create an account if you don't already have one. You don't need the app to view the server, and although we recommend it, recommend the app, all you really need is the browser. This server is not run by the school. It is a system of the students, by the students, and for the students. It is not run by the IT department at all, and is entirely a student-based project. Therefore, a lack of professional moderation and structure will be evident. This does not mean that it is a bad program or doesn't work. It just means that it's not from the school and can't be endorsed. Even if you're not struggling and you're doing just fine, consider joining the server anyway. Maybe you could help someone else struggling or sign up to be a tutor. Get your friends to join as well. The more people join the server, the better things can be. If you join the server, I would be more than happy to answer any questions myself. The link is in the description below, so make sure you go and check it out. Thank you Celtics, I hope to see you all there soon. 
The grade 12 members of BM News just wanted to send out a little love to the graduating class, as this can be a very um, stressful time even without the global pandemic. Um, to those who have been accepted to post-secondary schools, congratulations. Uh, and those who haven't yet, do not stress. Post-secondary institutions are certainly not done handing out their offers yet, and many places send out offers well into the summer. Uh, remember that there is still plenty of time. And now we have a super special guest appearance from BM News alumni, Raid Forney. I think. <laughs> And welcome to the corner report. It's a uh, it's a weather report that I record in a corner. It's the only place I've got room. Understandable, you're probably not outside too much right now, but I mean, here's your report regardless. Today's forecast is expected to be 100% post-apocalyptic. It's supposed to be mayhem out there. Have you seen it? Have you seen it out there? It's crazy. Every everyone has gone wild. Interesting times we live in. That's that's one way to put it. It's all collapsed. You know what's good for you? You stay inside. In other news, it's actually supposed to be quite nice today. Um, it's expected to reach around ten and switch between sun and clouds. Beautiful weather too, honestly. Um, if if you get the chance, I'd say. Go outside and, or you can't go outside, can you? Um, uh, I don't know. Throw around the old, the, the old pig skin. You, you know what I mean? The the football, the pig pig skin. Anyway, Celtics. That's all I got for today. I will. Uh, I'll catch you later. And now back to the anchors. Hey, Celtic athletes. Please make sure you have watched washed. Uh, excuse me. Any school team uniforms you may still have. You will get more information on the later date about returning your uniform items. Stay safe. Celtic Strong. And now, since he can't go a single episode without making an appearance, we're going to throw it over to Luke Rizzotti with some quarantine tips and tricks. There's 104 days of self-isolation. We can all go outside once it's ended. So the annual problem for kids of our nation is finding a good way to spend it. <sighs> Luke Rosati here from BM News, and I'm going to be giving you all some quarantine tips and tricks. Tip number one, Celtics, try watching a movie. Uh, Jake Swan would like you all to know that he recommends the epic film Promare. Show off your mad gamer skills in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Or continue growing your expansive Bakugan collection. For some intellectual stimulation, you could even read a novel. Uh, may I recommend some past favorites like Stephen King's It, Tracy Chevalier's Girl with a Pearl Earring, and some contemporary classics like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, <laughs> Zooey Mama and The Muppets Character Encyclopedia. Sometimes your friends may try to tempt you into hanging out with them during quarantine. They may DM you on apps such as Snapchat, Instagram, MySpace, Windows Live Messenger, or Facebook. Don't let them do it. Here's what I always say. Uh-uh, no, no, bibbidi bop, kazow. I won't go out, no way, no how. Some of your friends may be very persistent to get you out there. They may try cheap, devious tactics. One of my friends offered me a Blockbuster video membership card. Thankfully, I already have seven, so it wasn't much of an issue for me. But somebody offers you a Blockbuster video membership card in exchange for going out and breaking quarantine? Remember the phrase, uh-uh, no, no, bibbidi bop, kazow. I won't go out. No way, no how. In all seriousness, though, Celtics, I know this quarantine has been very hard on a lot of people. Not so much for me. Uh, my life pretty much already consisted of watching Over the Hedge on loop in my parents' basement. But for all of you who
who actually like going outside as opposed to sitting in the dark watching a talking raccoon steal from a suburban neighborhood. Uh, I'm sure it's been very, very difficult. This has been Luke Rosati's Quarantine Tips and Tricks. Now back to the anchors. And now a message from Mr. Gullius. Hi there, Celtics. It is Friday. Uh, I guess that maybe depends on when you're actually watching this, but we're uh, we're broadcasting this out on uh, on Friday. Anyways, uh, first of all, I wanted to thank uh, the BM News team for uh, for putting this together again. Really appreciate them uh, keeping our community connected like this. Uh, next, I just wanted to uh, to say. Uh, how much we really miss you guys. We uh, we as a staff meet every week, and uh, and then we have some other uh, smaller meetings uh, during the week as well. Um, but uh, it comes up time and time again from all of our staff uh, how much we miss seeing you on a regular basis, um, and uh, and we really hope that you're doing well. Uh, just a few announcements to pass along. Obviously, we're not returning to school uh, on Monday, May the fourth, as was uh, initially. Uh, set forth or the uh, the last announcement. So there's been another announcement saying that we are not returning in May at all. And the earliest that we can return is June the 1st. And we'll see if that date holds up or if uh, if there's yet another extension. Uh, I suppose there's a good chance that there'll be another extension and that this could certainly go longer um, and could go into the, uh, the summertime. Um, but we hope to see you again uh, soon. Um, okay, a couple just uh, quick announcements as well. Um, as you know, we uh, we announced earlier that there would be an election for our student trustee and for our student body president. We do have some uh, some nominees uh, candidates for those positions, and you're going to be hearing more about that uh, next week. And you're going to be uh, hearing their names and their campaigns are going to start. And uh, we'll be posting some videos uh, for those candidates as well. Um, also, a special message for the grads. Grads, obviously, we are thinking about you uh, constantly. We've had a lot of meetings about what uh, what graduation might look like in terms of, first of all, getting your, uh, your diplomas at the end of the year and, of course, uh, possible convocation in the, uh, the fall that we are intending on, uh, on having. So we've been having lots of meetings about that, and I know the grad committee um, is going to be meeting shortly uh, to uh, to discuss some of those things as well on your behalf. One of the things that we uh, are continuing with is we need a valedictorian for your class. And so just be checking your mail uh, next week, early in the week. You're going to be getting a letter outlining what we're looking for in terms of uh, a process for selecting a, uh, a valedictorian for uh, class of uh, 2020. So be on the lookout uh, for that. Also be on the lookout for a survey next week. We want to see how you're doing. Uh, that's all students. We want to see uh, how people are, are coping, how, uh, how online learning is going, uh, looking for suggestions, looking for ideas, um, and just really checking in to kind of see if everything's going, uh, going okay. Uh, keep in mind always that uh, um, just like uh, when the regular school year is on, my, uh, my office is always open. Uh, similarly, um, I am always on my email, um, and if you need to reach out, uh, feel free to do so. You can reach out to me anytime. Uh, of course, you can also reach out to our guidance counselors and social worker. Um, if you have any issues at all, any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out. We want to keep the lines of communication open as much as possible. All right, that's about it for me. Um, just again, thanks to the BM News crew. Also wanted to thank all of you for doing your part for social distancing. Uh, not an easy thing. For anybody, um, but I know it's especially hard for uh, for teenagers. Um, also, wanted to really uh, thank any of our students who are on the front lines right now. And we know we have several students that are on the front lines, whether they work in a grocery store or they work with the elderly. Uh, really wanted to applaud those students and uh, and give a sincere thank you from our staff. Um, it shouldn't be teenagers who are uh, on the front lines of something like this, but we knew know that. Several of our uh, students are on the front lines of this, and we really do appreciate it. Celtics, have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk to you soon. Well, that looks like it's all the announcements we have for this week. Thanks for tuning in, and make sure you go check out the homework help server down in the description. I'm Luke Jinyak. And I'm Daniel Reyes. See you next time.